morning guys or bonjour from Paris. I hope everybody is well. The time now is 8.35 and just getting ready to explore the city of Paris. Would have been out earlier, but sunrise isn't until 8.51, so I didn't think that there was any point. Just have a quick recap that yesterday we travelled down from Grimsby to London. We took the Eurostar across to Paris and then spent yesterday evening just exploring the local area and going to the Arc de Triomphe. Today, I've got an action-packed day planned. I'm going to visit most of or some of the main tourist sites in Paris. That's going to include the Arc de Triomphe again, which I'm actually going to go to the top of, the Eiffel Tower, the Louvre, and also the Notre Dame Cathedral. Uh, many other places as well, but they are the main ones. Anyway, before we go explore, we have to have a breakfast. We're going to find a typical French place to eat and find ourselves some croissants, baguettes, and some cafe au lait. French breakfast ticked off the list. We had a coffee, a croissant, a baguette, and an orange juice, nine euros 50, which I didn't think was bad. And look where we are. Right back at the Arc de Triomphe, and that is the first stop of the day. And yesterday I went online and I bought tickets to go to the top of the Arc de Triomphe. I didn't realize you could do that until yesterday. Uh, they were 13 euros, but it doesn't open until 10 o'clock, which is in about 20 minutes. So the next stop, the top of there. It's uh, a monument to those who fought and died in the French and Napoleonic Wars. And inside you have inscribed the names of all the victories and the French generals. It started construction in 1810 and it's 50 meters high. And that's where we're going. Oh man, that was hard work, a lot of steps coming up. But I think I'm the first up here, straight through. I think that's the first time I've ever been the first person at a tourist attraction in my life. It started to rain up here, but check out the views. There we have it, the Eiffel Tower. That's where we're heading to next. Oh man, it's raining, it's wet. But uh, yeah, 20 minutes walk away from the Arc de Triomphe and look what is coming into sight. There she is, the Eiffel Tower. And then you have the River Seine there. the Eiffel Tower which is apparently the world's most visited monument 330 meters tall 81 stories you have various viewing levels um, the top one is closed for renovation throughout the month of January but you can go up to the middle floors I'm not gonna do that today I'm gonna find somewhere to have a coffee because it is chucking it down I've just crossed over the River Seine on the bridge, the Pont de Alma, and that brings you out to the tunnel where Princess Diana died in 1997. You have the Liberty Flame, which is kind of a unofficial shrine to Princess Diana. walking along the banks of the river now and here you can see all the tourist boats that would take you on the tours the excursions I have seen one or two running today but you can imagine in the summertime sat on the top deck along the River Seine 
enjoying the sights of Paris. And this place we are now at is Plaza de la Concorde. It's the largest public square in France and it used to be where they carried out all the executions of the naughty people apparently. Now it's more famous for this. That is a 3,300 year old Egyptian obelisk. Pretty impressive. Also around this area you have many of the high-end upmarket hotels. You have the government buildings and also you have two pretty impressive fountains but I cannot pronounce the names of them. One good thing about it raining is there's not many people about. This square is certainly the luxury upmarket section of Paris, Plaza Vendôme, excuse the pronunciation. But there you have the Ritz Paris, and then all of the designer shops. You have Cartier. What else do we have? Dior, Louis Vuitton. I think I'll save shopping for another day. Just a short walk through the park and we find ourselves at the Louvre. I'm sure you'll recognize this in a second. Uh, the Louvre is the most visited museum in the world. Check out this. I'm sure you all recognize the pyramid. And this is where the Mona Lisa is and the Venus de Milo. I'm not sure if you can see behind me, but we're heading over now to the Cathedral of Notre Dame. But I just wanted to point this out. This is known as the Bridge of Love. You may have seen it before where people come and they attach the padlocks to the bridge. But apparently it was getting too heavy, so they've had to come and cut all the padlocks off and change it with glass or perspex or, or whatever that is. I never knew that the Cathedral of Notre Dame was right in the center of Paris and I also never knew that it was on an island in the River Seine. Um, I'm not sure how close we can get to it because I know it is under major renovation since they had the fire in 2019. One of the great symbols of Paris and all of Western civilization. It is still standing this morning after a fire that nearly destroyed it. But we will go see. get too close for it and yet they have a lot of work to do there. In a couple of days we're going to be in Barcelona, hopefully it'll be sunnier than this and we will be going to the Sagrada Familia which is a, another unfinished cathedral. Okay all this walking is making me hungry so I've heard about this market which is about 15 minutes walk away. It's the oldest covered market in France and supposedly the food there is pretty good. Let's give that a try and at least it will be undercover as well. Okay, found the market, uh, definitely a locals place. It's not quite as big as I expected it to be. Half the, the stores or the, the restaurants are closed. I don't know if that's because of the weather or the day, but managed to find a Moroccan place, amazing. Look at this, we've gone for the lamb tagine. Only 12 euros to bargain in the center of Paris. <laughs> Thank you. 
a slightly different tourist attraction, if you can call it that. I've just been inside um, a huge cemetery in the centre of Paris. I didn't want to do too much filming, obviously, because uh, it's a cemetery. But inside there, you have the tomb of Jim Morrison from The Doors. Also buried inside there, you have the composer, Frederick Chopin and Oscar Wilde. <laughs> So after walking 20 kilometers today so far, we found ourselves at the other side of the city. I thought I would hop on the tube and come back over to this side and take a look what is round this corner. Now that the rain has stopped, I thought we could come back and perhaps get a better view. It is getting close to sunset time, but we haven't seen the sun all day. So we're not gonna see that unfortunately, but I can imagine in the summer, Going to the top of the Eiffel Tower would be pretty amazing. And this time I'm a lot closer to it so you can really see exactly how huge it is. Made it back to the hotel and what a day that was. I ended up walking 23 kilometers, which is just over 32,000 steps. So I'm pretty impressed with that. Feels like I've walked around most of Paris. Started the day with the Arc de Triomphe and the 284 steps to the top. Then we went to the Eiffel Tower. We went to the bridge where Princess Diana died. The Louvre, didn't go inside there. Uh, the Cathedral of Notre Dame, went to a local market where we had some amazing food. Then we went to Jim Morrison's tomb before heading back across to the Eiffel Tower. So safely say we've done many of the sites here in Paris. This is my last night in Paris because tomorrow I'm up to take the train all the way from Paris to Barcelona, which is gonna take almost seven hours. Really looking forward to experiencing that. And I'm looking forward to getting back into Spain Hopefully the weather is gonna be a little bit warmer and a little bit drier than it was today. I will leave the vlog there for today. I really hope that you've enjoyed it. Thanks for anyone that's still watching this vlog. Please do me a favor and hit that like button. And also if you've got any questions about Paris or comments, do drop them in the box below and I will try my best to answer them. As I always say, if you can help me out by hitting that subscribe button and also the notification bell, when I upload the next vlog in this series, you'll be notified and you won't miss out. Appreciate it guys. And I will see you on the train to Barcelona.